Allison Meyer says her University of Missouri research in perinatal nutrition three months before to a month after calving might hold the key to setting up calves to realize their full potential. We're particularly interested in how many nutrients are getting to the calf and then affecting its growth and development and ultimately its long-term health, um, reproductive efficiency, carcass quality, etc. Of course, the goal is a vigorous calf that can digest and absorb colostrum nutrients. We know that calves that, that maybe don't consume as much colostrum and get sick early in their life are less likely to grade choice um, or less likely maybe to have a high weaning weight. But the gut needs to be ready. Relying on maternal health to ensure calf vigor and performance begins before birth. From the post weaning period until the calving period, we need to make sure that, that cows are um, maintaining or gaining body condition. Genetics also play a role in perinatal calf health. We really want to make sure that they meet their genetic potential as a fetus because the growth and development they're doing then is setting them up for everything they're going to do after birth. Feed pregnant cows the right way if you want healthy calves that stay healthy. When we think about how we actually keep um, how we keep calves alive, they're born alive, how we keep them alive is make sure that they get the nutrients they need. Meyer also talks about a lifetime of causes and consequences. It was more important to really focus on the pre-weaning calf because regardless of what type of beef producer we have, whether they're trying to produce the next national champion bull or just calves to take to the sale barn um, at weaning, how many lived to weaning and how ready they are for the next phase of their life matters to everybody. I'm Bob Cervera.